In today's video, I'll be covering myself with mint baking soda toothpaste, then pouring freezing water on myself, twice, <laughs> followed by a cold shower. You know, just to make sure that the hypothermia sets in really well. Then I'll be taking on the newest craze that's hit the internet, building a popsicle stick house. I don't know. And more things you guys dare me to do in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up at whatever point you think my gentleman area caught frostbite. Fortunately, there's a lot of moments in this video that that could have happened. So let's fire up that like button and we'll get this thing going. Now we'll be getting started with the first dare, which was trying to make a house out of popsicle sticks. For this dare, a lot of you guys have been asking me to build a house out of popsicle sticks. And for the life of me, I can't understand why. Apparently it's some new internet trend or something. So of course, I'm gonna try to make mine a little bit different. I'm gonna try to build the biggest and best popsicle stick house that I can in under an hour. And then I'll let you guys decide what I do with it. I got my timer here and I'm gonna see what I can do in about an hour. Here we go. So I have to admit, this actually was more of a challenge than I thought it would be. I mean, it involves patience, steady hands, and precision. And of those three things, I have none. But I was determined. And and I did think of myself as somewhat of a handyman. I mean, not so much anymore, but... The worst part about this is that I initially started myself off on a one hour timer. Which means I'm basically trying to build the house while the glue is still wet. So I took a little longer than an hour. A lot longer. But I have a suspicion that making this box won't be the crazy part. The crazy part will probably be whatever you guys have me do with this thing. Alright, well here is my popsicle house. Might not be much, but it's all I've got. And it took me a really, really long time. The timer went off actually about an hour and a half ago, so I guess that means I've spent about two and a half hours building this stupid house out of popsicle stands that you guys will probably just dare me to shove in my butt. But I will be letting you guys decide what I do with this thing. I'm going to be picking what I think is the most interesting and creative comment, and I will show the comment on the screen. That being said, look at this thing. I'm actually really, really proud of it. This might be the best thing I've ever built in my life. Even though it's a little sloppy and most six-year-olds could probably do better, I'm still proud of this thing. I mean, really, what, what should I do with this thing? I almost want to put it outside and call it a birdhouse, but the glue is water-soluble, so that wouldn't last very long. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys. Next up, you guys have been daring me to do all sorts of weird stuff involving mint toothpaste and cold water. I mean some really, really specific stuff, and a lot of it. So of course, I just decided to cover my whole body in both. For this next challenge, I'm going to be covering myself in toothpaste, and then pouring icy cold water all over my body. I saw a dare from one of you guys that was very complicated, involving covering my entire body with toothpaste, and then submerging myself in cold water. It was actually a lot longer and more complicated than that, but after doing some research, I did find some videos of people just putting toothpaste on their face and covering it with cold water, and having a pretty extreme reaction, and I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, I guess you do get a cooling sensation from mint toothpaste, but I honestly did not expect it to be quite as extreme as all the reactions that I I saw online. And if it is, then covering myself entirely with toothpaste before I do this is going to be a very bad idea. But either way, I saw the comment from you guys had a lot of thumbs ups, and I always take that into account, so I figured we'd give this one a try. Now I actually have two giant containers of ice, so as soon as I'm completely covered in toothpaste, I'm going to fill these up with cold tap water and pour them all over my body, which I'm sure isn't going to get all the toothpaste off, so afterwards I'll just enjoy a normal cold shower. After covering my body with deep freeze last week, I'm not looking forward to this. On the upside, I am conditioning my body to withstand hypothermia, or at least that's what I'd like to tell myself. All right, enough stalling, let's get this thing going. Oh, and of course, since I'm gonna be in the shower and covering myself with water, probably have to get a little bit naked. It's okay. And don't adjust your TV or laptop and or cell phone screens. I really am this pale. I have several containers here of mint toothpaste. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, I might need to use all of them. This stuff does not spread very well. Oh, and for those of you that are wondering, I do plan on doing stuff in the future that doesn't involve me getting naked in the shower. It just so happened these challenges turned out that way. Woo! That is freezing. You know it's a bad idea when the universe sends you a sign like this. All right, well, there goes my shower curtain. I'll put that back up later. 
On the upside, if I die from this, I should have a pretty minty fresh coffin. And of course, I gotta get the legs too. Now is when I may be framing in some artistic close-ups to avoid you seeing any man parts that may be poking about. There's so much of it in the air, it's already stinging my nose and blinding me. Well, it smells pretty minty in here, holy shit. Ugh, I can barely even breathe in here. Woo! You think I'm kidding, because it's just toothpaste, but having this much of it out really does sting the nose. But unfortunately, I still have to cover my face with this stuff. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, do you guys think this is enough toothpaste yet? Okay, me too. But I'll tell you where I really need some toothpaste. Right there. All right, that's good. Okay, now here comes the fun part. An entire bucket of cold water while I'm covered with toothpaste. As if the ice bucket challenge wasn't difficult enough. Okay, here it goes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cold. Oh my God, it's so cold. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, my wiener just shrank inside of my body. It's gone! It's gone! Where did it go? Help! Somebody please put out an all points bulletin. Has anybody seen my wiener? Because although I'm pretty blinded, I, I got a sneaking suspicion that that thing just dipped out of here. Well, unfortunately for me, I still have a lot of toothpaste on my body and a little bit of hypothermia and not very much vision. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with water now and, well, continue the agony. Cheers! Now I'm off to my icy hell. All right, here we go, guys. Whoa! Oh, 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 that's so cold! Oh my god! Oh, that is so freezing! That is the coldest thing on earth ever. Not an understatement. Oh my gosh! Woo! Was that as sexy as it felt? Is it felt pretty damn sexy from in here? Oh, it didn't. It didn't look sexy. Okay. And if it looks like I have my eyes completely closed. That's because I do. Hopefully I actually pointed at the camera, showing if I have a good sense of direction or not. Just a little bit of humor to take the sting off of how I definitely got hypothermia now. But those were quick bursts of cold. Those are just over in just a second, even though it still feels cold. The real challenge is gonna be staying underneath a cold shower. Well, I couldn't find where that was, so. Now really, the most difficult part was that water that's about to hit my face for the very first time. Because I, I don't know why for sure, but it hurt. Oh man, that's cold on my face. Ow, that makes my face hurt. Ow. Oh my god, that makes my face hurt so bad. Oh. Probably because I still have a bunch of adult acne, but I don't know, it hurts really bad up in here near my eyes. Ow. Ow, my face. Oh. Oh man, that's cold. Oh. I still can't see anything. At some point during the ordeal, I turned into the cookie monster, which is a normal defense mechanism. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, ah, that's cold. That's really, really cold. Ow. Oh, man, that's... Then for some reason, I went from monster to mouse. A very scared mouse. A very high-pitch, scared mouse. <laughs> Okay, sorry, just uh, the whole bunch of cold water just ran over my gentleman area and it did not feel so gentle. Oh, I can't stay still because it's so freezing. Oh my God, it feels like my body is going into hypothermia again. Okay, I am switching the shower onto hot now because oh my God. Oh, oh my God, it feels so much better. Oh, I could not take the agony. Okay, so only about now, after maybe like 20, 30 minutes of being covered in toothpaste and freezing cold, it's still freezing cold surprisingly, as soon as I turned off the warm water, I went right back to hypothermia mode again. But when I first saw that comment from you guys about all the toothpaste, at first I thought it was just a subtle reminder to maybe brush my teeth a little bit more often. And if that was the case, then that means I did all this for nothing, other than hopefully your enjoyment. But if it was just a subtle reminder for me to brush my teeth a little bit more, then I guess I'll be happy to oblige. I might end up living under this warm shower right here, and I'm still freezing cold. But that being said, we'll be on to the next air. I actually didn't go on to the next air after that. I stayed in the shower for about an hour, but now I'm on to the next air. So make sure to leave your dares in the comment section. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you got to have done that. Make sure to bell me for notifications if you'd actually like to see the videos. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in just a couple of days with a new video. All right, thanks guys. Bye.